guys, this is Renee Grosskreutz from iteachblogging.com and in this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a full width page section using Thrive Content Builder on your WordPress site. So you're going to want to have a WordPress website and you're going to want to have the um, premium WordPress plugin called Thrive Content Builder installed on the site. Okay, so just so you know, that is a premium plugin that costs $67 a year or $67 one time fee if you don't want to pay year after year to get the updates. That's totally up to you. So that's the price. Not so bad considering everything that it does. Having a landing page builder that does things like this is so wonderful. It saves so much time. Back in the day, I used to have to um, do all of this with code and that took forever and it never looked as pretty. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. This is a landing page that I built about Thrive Leads, which is another Thrive product that I love to use and make tutorial videos about. I wanted to create a page that highlights all of my content about Thrive. And so this is a landing page and basically what that means is that it has no sidebars, you know, like a typical blog post or page might have different page sections going on here in the full um, width of the page. But if you notice, this has just got two white bars on the side. And if you're scrolling through, you notice the margins, right? And then you get here to this section that has the green that goes all the way across. No matter how wide I make this or how narrow I make this, the green will always go all the way across. And that is a really nice feature. It just breaks up the page and adds a little bit of interest. There's no, you know, like special magical purpose other than just to break up the page and add a little interest. But it's a nice little feature to have. And I have it for all of my subheads on this page. See, there's another subhead and the green bar another subhead and the green bar. So how do you do this? You go to edit your page. Once you have your page open in the back end of WordPress, you should, this should look familiar to you. You click on edit with Thrive Content Builder. Then you scroll down to the wherever you want to add that full width section. Over here on the right, you scroll down towards the bottom and you're going to cl left mouse click on page section. See it there? Left mouse click, hold down, drag over until you see that green bar. If you haven't updated Thrive Content Builder in a while, then you might see the dotted section like it used to be in the past. You probably should go ahead and update your Thrive Content Builder and you'll see this new green bar. I don't know how I feel about this update, by the way. I have a little trouble sometimes getting something where I want it, but I'm getting used to it. So just drag over and let go. Now you notice it comes in as gray. If I want to change the text, I just click on the text and I can start typing, making it bold, do whatever it is I want to do. If I want to change the background of the gray, I want to change it to a different color. Just click somewhere on the gray and see how it has that red box that goes around it. Just left mouse click, click on the color palette, click on background color. And I have some pre-saved, or you can save as a favorite color, some colors that are already saved or I can drag this thing around until I get the color that I want, or I can put in my RGBA color code, or you can put in the hex color code, which is the color code with the pound sign. And you can even change the opacity and you can play with it this way as well. So there's lots of options. And when you have the color like you want it, you just say, okay. And then you can click anywhere on the screen to get rid of that page section. And there it is. All right, so basically, so basically that is it. That is all you do. And once you're done, you hit save changes and you have your new page section. By the way, if you want to delete the page section, just highlight your mouse until you see the red box. If you notice, there's the green box. That's for text. Then get to the red box and click on the little X and it goes away. And you can easily add another one in wherever you want and change the color. So feel free with play around with this. This is a nice little way to add interest to any of your landing pages. And um, it's really simple to use. So I hope that this tutorial helped you and blog on. Mm -hmm.